We started off our hike at 6 a.m. in the morning. I met up with the guys, had a few handshakes, and straight up started walking. In the beginning, we were super excited to start off this new journey, and we didn't really realize what challenges we we're going to have further on throughout the hike. Really quickly, when we saw the sign Tarto 84 kilometers, it just hit us that, oh man, we're going to be walking for a really, really, really long time. So we did a little warm up, drank some water, and started walking. After walking for three and a half hours, we stumbled upon this small little coffee shop, which is around 18.6 kilometers away from our starting point, Volga. Here we ate our first meal of the day. We wanted to get as many calories in as possible to be ready for the next 20 kilometers. At Killing a bus stop, Marks are feeling a little bit of pain in his right leg, but he did a little warm up and he was fine. So after walking for a while, we finally went past Volga Vold. It was really exciting for us because we have never really walked such a long distance as a group together before, and it was a really cool moment to embrace. At this point, the weather was perfect. It was not too cold, it was not too warm, and it was really, really comfortable to walk. But when reaching Puka de bus stop, we started to develop some problems. I gave Marco Pill to get rid of pain he was having in his right leg, little blisters started showing up, my knees were slightly hurting at this point. After a while we recollected ourselves and finally passed Elba Wald and suddenly everything changed. It started raining quite a lot but the rain didn't last for too long so we laughed it off and started looking towards the right side. We were almost close to our second checkpoint which was Ringo. And Ringo is around 40 to 45 kilometers away from Volga which marks exactly 50% of our journey. On the way we went to the shop, grabbed some food and water, sat down, ate for a while, waited off the rain and continued our walk. We have already walked for 53 kilometers. At this point it felt like Tartu is right around the corner, but oh boy, we were so wrong. In the beginning when we were walking, it felt like kilometers just flew by, but getting closer to the evening, the kilometers just started to extend and extend and the walk just started to feel infinite. We felt really exhausted, 
our legs were hurting, and Jerome getting really sick of walking for so long. We've been walking for more than 10 hours now, and we just wanted to have some sort of switch up. Our next checkpoint was Elva. And in Elva, we had our next checkpoint, which was the gas station. Grabbed a quick bite and continued on walking because we did want to show up on time in Tartu. On the way, we also saw a really beautiful beach and the guys could not resist not going on to it. So we went there, grabbed a few pictures and got ready for the kilometers ahead. When it started to get dark, everything completely changed. Walking was no longer enjoyable. It was really, really painful. Everything was hurting. And at some point we thought that we're not going to make it. The last 20 kilometers was just pure torture. Every single time when we took a smaller break of one minute or two to get back going, it was just so, so difficult. But somehow we did manage to get to Tartu in one piece and learned few things on the way. This is definitely a journey that I will never forget. It was a really great learning experience and just completely blew me away what the human body is capable of doing. So never give up, go till the end and shoot for the stars. Thanks for watching. Tarto, follow your Tarto on foot. Good job, man. Красавчик, красавчик. Хорош. Просто красавчик. Да, не знаю.